Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Knight's Quest on the BBC Micro, and this is a game request by Nay Smith on YouTube, right? So, obviously I've never played this before. This is an arcade adventure where you take the role of Knight. So basically I think this is similar to the Magic Knight series. Um, I don't know if any of them come out on the BBC Micro, like started off with Finest Keepers, then it was Spellbound, Night Time, then Stormbringer. There was four games in the Magic Knight series. Um, so it's basically you've got to pick a subject, pick things up, put them with it. It's sort of like a puzzle adventure game. Um, so, right, so only four keys. Okay. I think there was only... I can't remember. I have reviewed all four games on the CPC um, of the Magic Knight series, so pick up, drop. But, right. But with those games, you had a, a menu system. Right. Uh, okay, let's start the game. Choose your character to begin. The Bold Knight, the Hunchman, the Bionic Bird. Well, it would be the Bold Knight, I think. I don't know if they're have any strengths and weaknesses we'll soon find out now I do believe this is programmed in basic yeah you can tell right so there's a first object so push by we got a bowl of food so oh right enter is um, jump yeah oh fuck because it's in basic it's yeah. So the controls are slightly unresponsive, being because it's basic. No, I don't feel I'm going to get through that. Can I get past that? Yeah, that's quite annoying. Right, so where would that bowl of food go? Maybe I've got to feed a dragon or something. Can I duck? Also, can't duck, can I? Can't jump. Oh, fucking hell. Can I jump that? No, I can't get over that. I can't jump over that. No. Oh, come on. Oh. Right, maybe I can... Okay. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Oh. Right, who's that up there? Is that a trader? That could be a trader. Right, maybe I've got to get up there somehow. No, I can't. So I think that could be a trader. Now, are these spiders going to kill me? Or are they just background? Right, they're just background. Right, let's go and have a word with him if we can. Can I trade with him? No, perhaps it ain't like that then. So I can't drop... How do I drop the hot object then? It was space, weren't it? I can't fucking remember. Right. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Right, that's where we got the feed. That's where that... I'll push fucking fire. Always oh, a bit of slowdown. Go. Oh, fucking hell. So control being in basic it is very unresponsive. Oh come on. Right. 
Right. Right, feed you. Right, thank you. Right, so you push space. Right, I fed you. Oh, is that it? Nothing. So there's... I don't get nothing in return then. So, what is that? Has that served the purpose? Or is that just a fucking waste of time? I don't know if that's served the purpose or done anything. Right, can I? No, I don't think. Oh, oh, hang on. What have I got? Now I can't get back up there. Right, a spare head. Oh, well, that's what it is, a spare head. What's his name? Crichton? No, I can't climb up then. So what's he going to do with that spare head? Oh, right, so if I place it there, does it do anything? I don't think it does. 20%. I've, I've accomplished 20%. No, this spare head must go somewhere then. So it looks like a cut down version of uh, Spellbound perhaps. Or any of those magic. The only one that was different really was Finest Keepers. I only had the first two on the CPC. Maybe I've got to go down there. Oh, my energy's look, looking good. Okay. So that spare head's got to go somewhere. Oh, I've been here. Oh, oh and I'm dead. Game over, 20%. Right. Right, so we know where that's going to go, so we'll try one more time. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. No, it's up there I've got to go. It's up there. bowl of food so the first things you got to do is feed that monster or a dragon whatever it is then we get the spare head maybe that's got to go somewhere I don't know right right thank you There's something around here, perhaps. The crown. Maybe got to get that spare head. Maybe I've got to take it to the crown. Right, okay. I am thirsty, so I've got to get my fucking drink now. Reminds me of the trap door, the thing upstairs, right. Oh, right, okay. You ain't gonna let me by until I get him a drink. I see. Now, I wonder. Nah. So I've got to look for a drink, but I'm not gonna be able to get up there. So he needs a drink. Now, I don't think I can get that bottle. Right. Maybe that's what I need the spare head for, I don't know. Well, there's nothing over it, and I'm fucking almost dead. 
night I've still got um, a lot of energy left right so I need to find a drink obviously that's not it oh Ah, oh, what about ah? Oh, hang on. All right, let's put let's put that. Fuck. Oh, I see. I can only put those heads on those red things. Oh, fuck. Now I can't get up there. Oh, that's fucking stupid. No, I can't get past this. Ah, oh, fuck it. 20%. I think we'll leave it there. Um, can't say I'm really keen on it. It's, it's, it's... I don't know. Maybe it's a small game. Maybe. I don't know, really. Uh, now, I don't like the fact that the controls are a little bit delayed because it's a basic game. I see there's not a lot going on because there's nothing trying to really well there is things trying to kill you you're not on the clock or nothing but uh, maybe I would have well I wouldn't have I wouldn't because I didn't have a BBC <laughs> I mean if it come out on something like the CPC or something like that maybe I would have played it persevered but yeah it's it's not brilliant but I think I would have persevered with it tried to got somewhere with it mm, graphics are a little bit yeah they're all in basic so I suppose it's all right for programming but you know you've got a game here but I probably would have persevered anyway gonna end this now thank you so much for watching until next time and goodbye